Okay, so let's take a look at this set. So this is a warrior set. A Unsheath your sword. Let's see the faithful. So this is... So this warrior here, I'm gonna tell you his story right now. And then he can tell me if it's accurate. This warrior, he used to be a bandit. He used to be a bad boy. He left Divinity Reach, he didn't like the queen. He was doing some bad things. And then one day, Duena reached out to him. And she was like, you're my champion. I want you to spread the good love. And, you know, D Duena is hot, so he was like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. And then he turned into this. This guardian, almost guardian. He's not a guardian, because guardians can heal, and he doesn't care about that. He's vengeance, you know? This guy is, is Duena's vengeance, basically. And I gotta say, I love this set. The wings is probably the weakest part of this set, because uh, the resolution is bad. But otherwise, this set is good. I would say if you can find different wings or something to, um, like, substitute for these wings, you would be you would have a fantastic set. The spikiness, the open chest piece. Like, look at that. Like, yeah, we know you have abs. Just, it's nice. <laughs> it's good. It's good, dude. It's good. I'm totally comfortable now. Yeah. Just gonna zoom in on the abs. Very beautiful. Very nice. <laughs> this is good. This is a good warrior mug. This is a good warrior mug. It's simple, but it's really effective. Get out of here, dude. 7 out of 10. 8 out of 10. You know what? I like it a lot. It's 8 out of 10. It's good. Uh, can we bring alternative characters as well, or is one shot no. one? No. One character only. We've already been going for 50 minutes. Uh, can yeah. we see the <laughs> Luna Monarch? I can't pronounce that character name. Sorry. Uh, can we see the Luna Monarch uh, in the ring? Weaver. Come on in here, come on in here. This is a soul. Oh, come in here. A van. So, this is a Solvari. Oh, oh, that was some fire right there. Oh, that's some scary fire. So, this is a yeah, Weaver. Still, though. Yep, this is, a, this is a very nice. So, this is a uh, elementalist who became perfect at elements and can no longer be seen. Very nice. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, is there a specific concept behind this uh, character style? Because I feel like there might be a story for this that I am probably missing. Is there such a such a thing for the style, Mr. Luna Monarch? Um, <laughs> not intentionally, no, actually. Uh, right. I just worked with the colors and figured the winged um, armor set or armor pieces mm would give me a nice and um, sort of embroidered look. Alright, so I'm gonna make you a story. And you're just gonna stop me when it's too wrong, okay? So yeah. this is this is the firstborn Aoban, okay? She was part of the... Uh, like, everyone thinks Kate was the only one that went in and saved the, uh, the captured Solvari. But Kate only uncovered that mystery. This is the firstborn that went head first in to rescue those Solvari and then teach them the ways. The glasses, the hair, this is a benevolent, benevolent creature. She shows love. And she masters fire, not because she want to burn things away. It's to protect the love of her people. This is beautiful. Quite unique, I would say, the combination of the chest piece with the leggings is not something you see every day. You could have easily gone for something a lot more scuffed, a lot more unimpressive. But picking this particular piece, I think, gives you a very unique style. The boots which not a lot of people can see. Uh, try unequipping your legs just so we, people can see the boots, because the boots is actually a really good choice. Um, these are really good boots, and this is why they're good boots. They have this embroidered look, so they actually look like boots, and something that a teacher would wear if she hated her feet, like if she wanted sore <laughs> feet all the time. But technically, they're still good looking. This character looks good. You can please put on some pants again. I don't want to feel abusive. Uh, so this is a good looking set. This looks like a teacher, firstborn Silvari, who always ready to help people, you know? This is beautiful. It's nice. It's law friendly. You know? This is the kind of character you see and you're like, Man, why did I pick human? I look like every 90% of the entire population of this game. I wish I was a Silvari. This is the reason I think that way. Thank you. Pretty good job. I would say 7 out of 10. Above average, without a doubt. Very solid transmog. Beautiful. Simple. Can I see Don Adria in here? Don, Don Adria, get in here. 
A hey boy! Wait, is... So, um... A char... Weaver... Is not something you see every day. A char weaver... That looks better than Tybalt... Is not something you see every day. <laughs> Sir? You look amazing! <laughs> I gotta say this, man. This is... This is a merchant. This is so this is this is basically what you're gonna expect from this guy, okay? Tybalt is dead, but somebody's gotta sell apples. So you're an initiative, <laughs> and you go to Lion's Arch to buy apples. This guy, he's the apple seller, and you ask him the dumb question: I I need to buy apples, but during that time, some dudes attack you, and this guy he bends all the elements like a boss, kills the dudes without destroying a single apple because he's a master he's a lord of the elements like he has a top hat for god's sake you think he's gonna lose the top hat during combat no no this is this is the type of guy who would pick up the top hat as soon as it's, before it hits the ground yes this is beautiful i love this this is beautiful i love this this is so nice it's good to see char players it's good to see them get creative not go for the cultural not go for the spiky uh, gotta tear you to shreds look. I love the fact that you look cute, fluffy, something that I would probably have sleeping on my lap. But, um, oh! It's like a big cat. Oh, I just noticed the Springer! That fits even more perfectly. This Springer is like there eating all the apples. And you're like, what's with the Springer? And he goes like, no, don't, don't ask about the Springer. No. When the enemies try to kill the Springer, dude, he goes into a rage. He becomes the true weaver, you know? <laughs> this is beautiful, I love that. 9 out of 10. Dude, this is... This is god tier. It's, it's not particularly hard to make this, but the fact that you thought, thought it up makes it special. I love the weapons, by the way. What's the guild sign? Can you, can you uh, draw your weapons? Please draw your weapons. Uh, let me see here. The, a gold and black serpent sigil for his guild. Fits nicely. Fits really good. I love it. What's your title? The Blazing Light of... Wait, no, that's not you. Committed. He is... Oh my god, yes. Yes, dude! Committed! That's what you are. Get out of here. 9 out of 10, dude. Seriously. Beautiful job, man. Oh, Jesus. That's... Oof, that makes me want to play Char now, dude. Dori, uh, Dovida. Can we see Dovida in here? Let's go. Oh, oh, lightning flash. Oh. Hey, are you a Power Ranger? <laughs> Just answer the question. Are you a Power Ranger? I'm not gonna continue until he answers if he's a Power Ranger or not. I'm too scared now because he might be, you know, he might be the white Power Ranger, and that's the most powerful <laughs> one because it's racist all the time. <laughs> this is basically the time I'm making a suit of armor with a light class. All right, so I gotta say yes. Like, if you guys can, uh, if you guys zoom in on this armor, it does actually look like he's wearing metal for a lot of the armor set. Like, if you look at his chest piece, it looks metallic with the uh, cloth embroidered into it, so it looks something uh, very reminiscent of, uh, I would like reminiscent of actual plate mail where it wouldn't suit the whole body, but just the chest piece with cloth underneath to make it more comfortable. I would say the face, the chest piece, and the uh, boots. The boots is ascended, the ascended skin, just the regular ascended skin, probably fit really well together. Your problem becomes in the different textures for the um, chest piece and the leggings, right? Because otherwise, you're in for a jolly good style. Uh, well, I need to channel my magic. Okay, so basically it's to not overburden yourself. Well, it's a good looking set. And when you draw bolt, draw bolt for a moment. And uh, draw bolt and do like some, some, some gesture so you can stay there. So you can stay locked in it. Uh, so, bolt is probably the best weapon for any weaver. And I think you can all like realize why it's because it's thunder coming out of you and that's why this guy looks like a power ranger technically and i gotta say this is a good this is a good look it's the best probably a good use of the legendary bolt because let's admit it legendaries never fit anything else like you, you see people 
going around with seven legendaries and they never match anything. It's like, yeah, okay, nice job, dude. You have no life, good job. But this guy, this guy actually knows how to use it. With the title, Keeper of the Sun, doesn't make any sense. Should probably remove the title. Incinerator and Bolt for Weavers would be good. Yes, I agree. Incinerator and Bolt would probably be the best combination. Or oh, oh, if they can ever carry an axe, then it would be axe and bolt, right? You know, Frost. But uh, I would say this is a solid. This is a solid Weaver. But a little bit generic in the same way that a lot of people have tried to make a heavy out of light. It's, it's something people always try to do. If you take a look at me, I also look like that. Like, I, I look like I'm mailed out completely. But uh, you look a little bit better than me, I would say. Because I look like a sideshow, but you look like an actual person. So, um, I like that. I like that. 7 out of 10. It's a solid one. Hope you noticed my guild. What's, what's, uh... No, wait, what's, uh, what's the guild name? What's her guild name? Can somebody help me out? Can't find the person again. Brain Oval Bron... Oh my god, wait, who is this? Oh, you're in- Oh my god, you're in my guild, okay. Didn't even know that. Dude, I forgot about that. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> I gotta say, dude, I gotta say, your uh, your Weaver fashion, beautiful. It's good. It's solid. It's safe. Uh, do get... Try risk it next time. Like, if you come here, risk it. Do something a little bit more risky. But otherwise, pretty good. Well done, dude. Can we see um, Missy Einer? Missy Einer. Hey, haven't we done this? No, I guess we haven't. Whoever did that stealth, thank you. <laughs> yes, I I'm sorry, man. This is no problem. Oof. Even 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 through the stealth, I'm getting. Oh, I know what I'm expecting. It is sadly not good. <gasps> Crying. This so is not, not good. Yeah, this is not good. No, the staff doesn't make sense. You're flashing too much. You're flashing legs. You're flashing titties. But you have ice and fire in your hands. Doesn't make any sense. How are you not burning yourself? Doesn't make any sense. Then you have holographic dragon wings, and you have is that eye? That's eye of this. That's water eye. It's something you start with as an elementalist. You can pick between a dot in your forehead that resembles the element that you associate with, and this is so he picked water. So his what he's trying to go for is a lot of fire and water theme. So face, shoulder, and gloves match. Delete everything else. And then we're safe to go. I gotta say, if you aimed for a lot safer, instead of going slot mug, instead of trying to look um, flashy, if you went safer path and actually covered yourself and tried to find something that fits the entire set and the weaver style, you would be good. But right now, unfortunately, not getting anywhere close. Sorry! And, uh... Anna, Anna, Anna! Oh! Oh! Flowers! Bye, Frost! Whoa! This is the perfect. Uh, yeah, this is the perfect anime mm. character. If you. Uh, if. If you're Hugh Hefner, this is who you want. This is your top one model, if you're Hugh Hefner. Is this Alice in Wonderland? Nah, dude, Allison's a child. No, if this is Alice, then I gotta know the age. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the mature version. Okay. <laughs> Legal Alice. Alice. Okay. <laughs> 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 this. Uh, hide, hide the backpack. Hide the backpack. Hide the backpack for a second. Now you're good. Now you're good. Uh, you guys might not be able to see it. He has the double infusions from, uh, what's it called? Super Adventure Box. And he's rocking a pretty unique combination of set, like armor pieces. Like, the armor pieces in themselves aren't unique, but this combination is. And of course, Bifrost. Uh, unsheathed Bifrost so we can see the aura, because it actually looks pretty good, on your character at least. Like, look at that. It's rainbow, it's flashy, it looks adorable. Like, you just want to hug this thing. <laughs> it's it's nice. It's nice. You know, it's uh, it's really cool. It's really cute. Also, the, but what's with the ears, though? I gotta know. 
Hope not a trap. Yes, please. <laughs> Bunny. Well, I, I I like it. I think this is a good theme. This is a good female human. You know, it's not all about being too sexy, but it is decently sexy. You know, I'd probably say seven out of ten. Pretty good, dude. Pretty good. Get out of here. Aqua Sprite. So. Some of you guys might not know this. This guy donated was the first uh, person to donate 100 gold to the event. Wow. So one thank you to him, one big thank you to this guy. Oh, and he's blue. He's also blue. Mr. Rich guy. Yeah, well, actually a few guys uh, here are apparently quite rich. I love this set. I love you. I love this. This is insanely well done. But, uh, I gotta ask for a link to your gear. Like, I... Because this is the thing with Solvari Cultural, it all looks like it's part of them. And it's really difficult to tell how many pieces of the set he's using. And I'm really curious. Because this is how you make a Solvari. This is insanely good. Full tier 1 set. Okay. That's the pr like the problem is that it's a full set, which is why it looks so good. But we gotta give him points for the fact that his staff matches, he enters with the right element, he's blue, the hair matches. It's it all looks really nice. So this is this is a winterborn Solvari, winter nightborn. It's good. It's safe, but it is a full set. Not particularly. You know what, no, I would say actually it is a little bit creative in the in the way that you represent the set. So it is a little bit better than generic. 6 out of 10. Very nice. A little bit disappointed it's a full set though. A little bit disappointed, boy. Otherwise, well done. Can we see... Chit sucks? Chit sucks? <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Oh, what? Hey, oh, oh. it's a little... Oh, it's a little Azura. Oh, she's so cute. And there's a there's an ice dragon, and you're oh, you're an element you're a core elementalist. All right, with Nevermore. So this is an ice queen. She's the spirited drinker. Uh, this is basically your uh, lovely aunt, who just loves to drink a lot at <laughs> Christmas parties. She's adorable. She's nice, and you love her. This is her. Show your love. Frozen. Yes, exactly. This is Frozen. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty good. I, I love that. Yeah, the hair fits perfectly. Only you have an issue though. The infusions from Sap do not match you, and the back piece do not match you. Discard those, and you're actually a lot better off with a much more eye-pleasing set, a much play, much more eye-pleasing fashion. And I gotta recommend. Uh, I, Try Glacial Staff, maybe. <clears throat> well, the thing about Nevermore, it makes her look that, you know, that more spiritual, which is which goes with the title. Um, and that's, I, I think, the idea. And so I'm kind of accepting Nevermore in this case, just because I hope that's what he went for. He went for the fact that it is a spiritual. Uh, everyone who's made Nevermore knows that the collection is to actually find a raven, raise a raven, wait for it to die, Resurrected spirit and then put it into a staff so it can never leave you so in that regard It is a little bit, you know Close to the title and I gotta say I do like it. It's a pretty one. You're a nice Asura. You're very cute Get out of here 7 out of 10 get out of here. You're pretty love you All right, can we see uh, a Avicinian? 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 That's me Get in here, please! Look at all these beautiful people! Ooh, so many beautiful- by the way, you guys... There are way too many of you guys with actually good sets. Like, this is very impressing. Come in the ring, come in the ring. Where you at, miss? I am in the ring. Oh, oh, you're- oh! <laughs> oh, it's my cameraman! Yes! Hello there, cameraman! <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at this. This is color-wise, eye-pleasing. No color in this set. Draw your staff. 
I'm just gonna say this. Uh, actually, turn off, turn off. No, don't do that. No, now, now you ruined it. There's too much purple in that staff. Yeah, now it looks good. And turn off your back piece because it's too white. Ruins your uh, contrast. Makes you shine too much and you look a little bit good when you're darker. Turn that off. Uh, but then, like, otherwise you look pretty good, I gotta say. Like, this is not the person you want to be your cameraman. No, this is... This is the person you want to have for, uh, a dinner with, you know? This is an eye-pleasing person. This is beautiful set. Very well color-coordinated. The shoes... I have no idea what shoes those are. Uh, what that's the cultural. Dude, that's a, those are amazing. I love that. Uh, awesome. Awesome shoes. Those, sh those shoes literally... Oof. I gotta say, yeah, this is a good set. This is a good set. I would probably say 8 out of 10. This is very pleasing, it's very nice, it doesn't feel aggressive, feels simple. Uh, it's thing that you really look... Like, you, you only realize how good this set is when you look at it. If you just ride by it on your uh, speedy Raptor, you're not gonna realize this set, because it doesn't flash you. And that's what makes this set so good. And that's why I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10. Like, this is, this is really good, and I love it. Very good, Silvari Mog, dude. Nice. Get out of here. Oh, well, no, you don't get out of here. You're my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see a diabolic masquerade in here? D masquerade? So... This set is good until you draw your weapons, and this is why. Where's your gold? No, don't do that. It's, uh, remove that, man. No, 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 no. You have no gold in your set. It ruins it completely. There's no gold. Well, Countess go Anise is, is feeling really bad right now. You make Countess Anise feel bad. You have no gold. But you're, you're using the Shining Blade. It's like... She's shaking her head right now. It's a good set. It's a good set. Call it... it Photo Mesmer? And Mirage, to be uh, exact. This is a good set. This is... Uh, something you can definitely use, be safe with, you know you look good, you look safe. It's what I like to call sets that don't take too many risks, that don't look too uh, original. It's safe. It looks good, and that's why we know it. It's safe. I'd probably say this is a 6 out of 10. It's just average, unfortunately. If you would take all the white out of your set and put it into gold, I think you would have a better time mixing with your swords and actually come out into a 7 out of 10 and show yourself as an even more threatening um, Mirage. Thank you. I love Mirage cost. I love LeVision. Get in here, LeVision. The best for last, man. I got, yeah, I mean, Mirages are notorious for be having some of the best looking, some of the best looking sets. Whew. Get in here, LeVision. If he goes AFK, then it's a little bit pity. Yeah. So some of you might not, uh, probably all of you don't know this. Uh, I met LeVision uh, in World vs. World. He's in Pykin. Uh And LeVision is the kind of guy who chases people. And uh, <laughs> when you see his trans, uh, when you see his uh, fashion, you're going to understand why he does it and why people run to begin with. Get in here, yeah. dude. Oh, he's really cool. This is the god. This is Balthazar. If Balthazar wasn't a bitch, <laughs> this is how Balthazar should have looked. Because no one is afraid of Balthazar. But look at this guy. Uh, so for some of you, you might not know where this aura is coming from. The tentacles. This is the PVP, uh, the Mistforged PVP set, uh, PVP chest piece. It emits these tentacle-like uh, pieces. So it is not the same as the shoulders that I have equipped. This is actually his chest piece uh, mixed together with Twilight for a very effective use. He uses the sand, ruinic sand, uh, boots and gloves. I bet he likes the effect, but it also makes him look, look a little bit more threatening. He killed a bear or an ursa. He killed some kind of animal and took its skin and put it on his uh, shoulders. He doesn't like animals and it's okay. He's a bad guy. He's a bad boy. 
and he has the helmet of Balthazar, because he's a god slayer. So, like, what can you expect, you know? He's an 8 out of 10. This is beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Blue versus red, <laughs> yes. This is the guy in the other team, yes. When you do a structured PvP, this is the guy who will kill you. Know that, and fear it. It's effective, it's good, I love it. Uh, I gotta say, we've had some really good dark theme t today, it's amazing. I was expecting the dark themes to not be so representative, but it's definitely been really good displays of dark themes. Beautiful, man, absolutely. Is he a mirage? Make him use a skill. <laughs> yes, he is actually a mirage, but he looks like a necromancer, and that's what makes this look so good. People don't expect it, especially with the fact that he does use a great sword. Anyone can uh, mistake that. It's good. I love that. Get out of here. It's nice. Eight out of ten. Um, that's an it, Mr. Plop. I'm just gonna call you Mr. Plop. Chronomancer Plop gets in here. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> I'm your oh, local no. pimp. <laughs> He's uh, so this is a uh, this is a Lion's Arch's pimp. By the way, if you don't know, Lion's Arch is all full of bandits and bad people. Uh, this is the kind of people you meet in Lion's Arch. Um, he's in Asura, so he's gonna... So this is basically what happens. If we take Alice over here, the pretty Alice, she's just minding her own business. She just reached uh, uh, Lion's Arch, and she's gonna go in. And this guy's gonna introduce himself. <laughs> and uh, let's just say she isn't very wonderful afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say... Oh! Draw your weapons. Draw your weapons. Look at that whip! Look at that <laughs> Dude! You know what? I'm I'm sorry, but this is I gotta say, this is this is honorary win to me. This is honorary win. This is something that it can it's perfectly executed. He's Chronomancer, purple and gold. Pimp, purple and gold. Whip, because he's a pimp. He whips his bitches. Sword? He also cuts his bitches. He's a bad boy. He's an Asura. Oh, nice. He's not large. <laughs> not threatening. He has... You know what? This guy has bodyguards. Bodyguards like this blue fire guy. Right? He, they, they do all the bad work, while this guy, he just whips. Maybe also Nene's. <laughs> I, got, I love this, dude. You are... This is amazing. Beautiful. Awesome. Dude, get out of here, dude. You're putting me to shame. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick you in the butt. Nice, nice plop. Harlequin clone. I saw this guy from a distance. Haven't been able to look uh, closely at him. I've looking been, oh, wow. been looking forward to uh, looking closer at him because um, this is basically Shaco. Uh, if you don't know who Shaco is, uh, feel free to Google Shaco. Uh, and this is basically how threatening he looks. Um, that backpack is perfect. Makes you look dead inside. The fact that you didn't use it as a helmet, bonus. You didn't want to be too safe. You use the Twilight Arbor mask. We can see your face, your Solvari. Extra dead. He's Mudrim. He doesn't care about you. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's, oh creepy. He has cat eyes too. Beautiful. He has Shimitas or Rapiers. Perfect weapon for a Harlequin. He's a, he's a regular Mesma, he's not a Mirage, so it fits even better. He's called the Tormentor, that's his title, which is perfect for any Mesma, because that's what we do. We torment you. If we're a Chronomancer, we're not going to be good at it. If we're a Mirage, we're going to kill you, and if we're a core Mesma, we're just going to troll you. And that's what the Tormentor is all about. This guy is the, I would say, perfect cosplay of being a Harlequin and being a uh, Mesmer at the same time. This is, in my opinion, you can disagree, it's up to you, but I think this guy is probably one of the most perfect looking mes core Mesmers you can make. It's insanely good, nine out of 10. Dude, get out of here. Shake before using, I don't even wanna <laughs> ask what that is, get in here. <laughs> I know it's something that I'm not gonna like the answer to. Is the um, so? What did you try to do? Mess with mugs. Okay, 
you succeeded in your accomplishment on a scale of 10 out of 10. Because I have no idea what you're supposed to look like. I have no idea how to rate it either. Because you've got the aura, aurora, aura, uh, try say that in one go. You've got aurora, Twilight. Aurora. <laughs> 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 you've got the horns, which make no sense with the Twilight, but makes sense with Aurora. You're black and white, which makes sense with Twilight, doesn't make sense with Aurora. You're like, oh, is that it? That's your story. You're two persons at the same time. You merged. Is that it? Is is that it? He, he doesn't even have a title. We can't even judge him. He's like completely on the radar, you know? Under the radar. <laughs> the moonlight. <laughs> Oh, wow. I gotta say, this is this is this is like one of those mugs where you just look, and when li 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 this is probably a good player, this is probably a quite good player, and this is how you know it because he doesn't care about how he looks, <laughs> and he doesn't care how you think he looks because he's if you see him in World v World he's gonna kill you and move on, if you see him in PVP he's gonna kill you and move on, and he's not gonna go AFK in Lion's Arch because <laughs> he got better stuff to do, like shouting, panic. At Tarir, when there's 20 minutes left, this is that guy. <laughs> this is that guy. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, it's it's not a bad. I I would probably say, it's not the best set. Not the best set. Sorry, man. Sorry, mate. It's not the best set. Aurora ruins a lot of it. The horns ruin a lot of it. It doesn't make much sense. It feels silly, with the scarf covering all the breasts, but also you've got your belly button out, it doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Sorry. Get out of my ring, boy! It's alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is nice. Okay, so we are going to see some people... <laughs> oh, wait, no, you're, you're there. We are going to see some people who are not on Discord. Uh... So I'm gonna comment on their style, but they won't hear it, so I guess I can say whatever I want! Oh! Look at this. Gigi. The guild name is cute, which matches perfectly to what this character is. He has the, um, the, the female Quaggan backpack, the plushy one, and he has the uh, tiger hoodie. So you know he's cute. Oh, and it's by the way a female Asura. It's not them. It's not like male flunt. No, no. This is a cute Zoja, cute little Asura. Very nice. Oh, oh so cute. I would use this myself. If I had an Azura, I would use this my. Because this is like you know, people will definitely stop up for this character. They will stop up. They're gonna look at it because it looks so cute. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> so cute. It is so cute. Like as is absolutely adorable. The little hat. Yeah, yeah. The hat, the the backpack, and the hat. Is really <laughs> killing it. Oh, it's cute. Uh, so I need to see Lori, Lorelei. Lorelei. I, I think I've seen this name before. A few times, actually. Oh, now this is a so this is a hollow smith. Uh, probably the only actual hollow smith. Ooh. I'll, he's got some world versus world gear. He's got the sun touched, it seems. Yeah, no sun blast gloves. Look at that shine. Mm. That's how you know it is the 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 blast and not the touched. No, no, wait. Mm. That's the wind. He dyed his wind. So nice. Wow. Made me doubt myself. Very good, dude. I don't <laughs> I don't do that often. <laughs> Accomplishment. <laughs> he uses the bladed. Uh, Shoes with Wellview World, World chest piece and ooh, bladed leggings. Oh, I love this. What do you guys think? Everyone in in, in, the, in the slash D chat, what do you think? Isn't this a good set? 
Seven out of ten! Seven out of ten, for sure. What rifle is Oh, it's the legendary rifle? The Predator rifle, yes. Uh, he okay. changed it. Oh, he changed it. Let's see him draw the weapon. Always good to find see look at look at a set when you pose. <laughs> oh wow. The pack <laughs> rifle. With like this is yeah, this is I would say this is a good engineer set. This is a good set. I guess it fits Aww. the engineer. Yeah, I love. This is a good engineer oh. build, and you know he he actually has some thought into his gear because he didn't go for slutty is good. Yes. He's actually covering himself like a respectable person. It's a beautiful set, and I love it. Very nice. Can we see a Rubiella? Oh, wow. Okay, I need to turn my contrast down, because this is too shiny for me. <laughs> and then the weapons, of course. SHINY! <laughs> this is as shiny as it can get. Probably can go shinier if he gets the, some uh, infusions. Another Kimaj, yes. Simaj, squid incoming. Ah. I don't like this set, and here's why. This set oh. is all about flexing. It's about getting attention, but having not much oh. to offer. She's pretty, and that's it. Mm. There's no substance to this set. When you look at it too long, you realize it's a very simple set. It's the Chaos Gloves, Chaos Weapons, Glint's Wings, uh, with the uh, Leyline Shoulders, Leyline uh, Helmet, to get the aura, and only that. Uh, he has twilight armor pants and, she uh, and chest because it looks like a dress and that's what he wants. Oh. He wants to be a princess and that's why he wants you to look at him. But as soon as you look at him, he looks less like a princess and more like a wannabe. Like a mm. poor, poor, poor little girl who wanna be a princess but can't afford it. Yeah, luckily he isn't in Discord. <laughs> Okay, last one has Tante Start. Oh, what is oh Oh wow Oh my <laughs> This is Earth. This is Earth Incarnate. This isn't the Solvari, it's an avatar. It's like the pale trees avatar. So this is just an avatar of a, I don't know, pale, some some grass? Because there's a lot of green going on. So this could easily be a, a grass avatar. This is something you would see the char get killed by when they burn a bunch of forests down. Then this, this person comes and she's like, I don't like that. She kills them all. This is a good Solvari set. Because it sticks to the na nature, pun intended, the race. I gotta say I like this, but it's also kind of generic in the sense that it sticks to just the green. Everything is green. Different hues of green, but green. It's good. I like it. But I wouldn't let it win. It's it's fifty shades of green. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh Arendu, which character are you? Oh yeah, yeah, I did miss you apparently. Yeah, you uh, come in Arendu. We we care here we care. <sighs> Look at that. Ooh. Beauty. You might not be able to see it, he's using the Raven mask, which I think is absolutely beautiful. 
I'm an explorer with a special bond with the birds. They share their senses to receive Arandu's gold straight from. What is this backstory? This is a, this is a detailed story. This is a bird lord. This is what Hollywood was thinking about, by the way, when they made that movie, Birdman, with the guy who jumps off the window. This is this is the guy, <laughs> Bird Lord. Yes, Bird Lord. Perfect. I like it. He's using the sun uh, sun spear leggings for those who can't see the boots. I <sighs> gotta love how everything looks so smashed down on an Asura. Which boots are those? I am a little bit doubting. Because those boots are really, I think those boots fit you nicely. Elonian Graves. So this is the, so this, it's the Elonian legs and the Graves. He's using the Elonian gloves as well. Okay, so it's a three-piecer. With what chest? What chest? What chest is this? What chest is this? Uh, remove? Oh, that's, that chest actually matches your uh, mat, uh, mantle so good. You can't see it. But he has this strap in his chest that makes it look like he basically leather strapped the raven feathers on. And it makes it look extra special. Uh, I think it's also uh, the sun spear uh, piece, chest piece. He is a traveler, so he has the traveler title. Perfect with the lore, perfect with his story. Nice mask, his eyes look very good through the mask. And the backpack, this is the... Uh, Mm, the Zafrite backpack, it's absolutely smacked with stuff. Looks like you're busy. It's perfect. I love it, dude. Asura trap. <laughs> no, this is this is a good this is a good uh, fashion. This is good fashion. You need to be unique as an Azura, because you are a unique race. And this guy is unique on all accounts. He's get definitely gets maximum points for being a unique thing and having a good backstory to go with it. This is an eight out of ten in my opinion. Not because it's hard to make this character, but because it is unique, and it is special, and he looks adorable. Get the hell out of this ring. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Can we see Ikaru? Can we see Ikaru? Ikaru, Daredevil. Get in here, boy. It's a Quagen. It's a Quagen Daredevil. Oh, wow. That's a new one. Oh, he comes rolling in. You gonna go out of the potion? Nah, okay. Well, you all lost, because obviously everyone knows Quaggins are the best race. Everything you say has no meaning. This is a 200,000 out of 10. He will win all the rewards. All the 500 gold is just going to him. Uh, and also the honorary prize. Sorry, pimp, you, you don't win anything. Uh, because you're not a Quaggin. <laughs> but uh, lucky for you, I also hate I hate Quaggins as uh, the race I hate the most in this game, so... Sorry, 1 out of 10! I hate Quaggins! Get out of here! <laughs> Lavender Star Dolly, let's go! Ooh, a Necromancer, another one. Another one! And a Sura ne Necromancer is not something you see every day. A tiny one with angel wings. Oh! Oh! I'm a deceptive Asura. Oh! I like this. Can Do you have a potion to grow bigger so everyone can see you? Yes. Do, oh, do Oh, look at this. Move, move, move closer to everyone so they can see you, because I think everyone needs to see how pretty this character is. Look at that. That's how, that's, this is just a gorgeous character. You don't want to miss out on this beautiful character. It's cute. It's the anime word of kawaii, the very definition of it. The wings go nicely, the colors go nicely, the hair goes nicely, adorable little braid on the side. Love the glasses, genius. You know she's gonna insult you in different languages. It's beautiful, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it looks really sassy. She does the robot dance, it's like, yeah, she, she got a bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, I gotta say, this is, this is probably a fucking amazing sorry for the language asura fashion this is so good it really fits your character it really fits the fact that you say that it's a deceptive asura yes i thought you were a mesma until i saw <laughs> the um the only thing you need is a title to match uh can i see your backpack do you have a backpack to go with it stop dancing i am okay 
Oh yeah, the backpack, right, the angel, yeah, it's good. The it's angel. good, I like this, yes. And you are using feathered pieces, I think, as well in your armor set. Yes, you are using the feathered yes. gloves and... And the feather, oh yeah, this is good. Well done, you did well. Beautiful, beautiful character. 8 out of 10. Thank you! Beautiful character! Now, everyone, come with me. And make a beautiful line alongside this beach! Because now we need to make and find the winner. We need to find the winner. And you know what? I gotta say, there's been a lot of good people. Make a beautiful line, don't stand on top of each other. Beautiful line, looking toward the water, yep. Looking toward the water with your character, do not mount. Get off your mounts. I see you, Bloody Veil. I will kill you and your mount. <laughs> I'm, a mir I'm a mirage. I'm a mirage, you know I can do it. It's not going to be hard. Stand in a line, everyone, just stand in a line. I'm gonna adjust my camera before I get a headache. Jesus Christ. <laughs> First person, man. This, this the game wasn't made for it. No. There are three lines right now. Which line, though? Yeah, it's alright, it's alright. Stay, stay like that. Just don't stay on. Uh, just don't stack. Make sure. Yeah. I can see you. you have two lines, actually. Make sure I can see you. So I'm gonna start here. Man, this is beautiful. Bloody Veil, go back to the ring. You're definitely part of this. I love your style. You're unique. You're beautiful. Special. I love it. Go back to the ring. Man, I love this. I love the Solvari and it makes me so... It makes me question if I should make a fourth place just for the Solvari. Because it is really good. But you know what? Ultimately, I think we need to stand firm and make people just really try hard it. It's good and it makes me doubt a bunch of stuff. I love it. You did well. But you're not gonna win anything. Sorry. Cancer guy. Man, I love you. I'm not gonna forget you. Cute, cute little Asura. Beautiful, but ultimately still a 7 out of 10. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Dark well, at least Prince. I made my can uh, character cancer on purpose. Yeah, and it's good for it. And that's why I'm not gonna forget you. Back to the ring, mm -hmm. boys. Dark Prince, go back to the ring. You are definitely making a spot. Forerunner, really good set, but you need... Oh, you changed the... Oh, you changed a few pieces. Nice. I like that. Still. <laughs> Missing a little bit. More thanks, beautiful set. Pimp, back to the ring! S Lavender Star Dolly. Such a solid set. But unfortunately, I gotta say, it's not win worthy. But it is definitely a beautiful set. Don't ever doubt that. Ever. Beautiful. Smurf Guy. Yeah. Probably the. Like, I don't want to insult any of you. You all did great. But Smurf Guy is probably the most creative. And I got just, it's just, that's that's my opinion. And you are allowed to be disagreeful of it. But he's not gonna win. He's just the most creative. And it looks great. Yoda looks great. Raul looks great. Masquerade. Oh, he took my advice and made his armor look gold. And he looks a thousand times better. Yes, dude, you look beautiful. Yes. Firebrand Wifey looks great. Uh, oh, oh, she changed. Oh, oh, nice wifey. Got I don't know. Uh, Brax. Changes. Brax was not here. Can't be asked. These guys weren't here. Let's take a look at the Raven Lord. Raven Lord, you are. This is also a unique Asura. And this is the the thing that makes me really doubtful because if I can't either, I either have to pick Irandu or Lavender, because these two people really know how to make an Asura stand out. It's like you you guys did such an amazing job. Verdulac. Do you have Veil Render? I'm just gonna put it like that. Do you have Veil Render? No. Sadly, then I cannot give you a spot. If you had Veil Render, I'm, good, I'm just gonna admit. If he had Veil Render, his set would be perfect and he would be third place. That's how it is. But without Veil Render, that axe ruins his set. It's insane, dude. You look godlike. I love you. Mirage Axe, nah, <laughs> not good enough. Not good enough. <laughs> you, you are. This is. This is one of the best. This is one of the best uh, sets in my in my opinion. The uh, Alexander Aikman. Alexander Aikman, run back to the to the red ring. 
Because you're definitely uh, part of this. You, uh, your set is perfect. Uh, Huana, beautiful set. Ultimately too safe. Blue Fire Guard, again, beautiful but too safe. Too many of the same pieces. Good use of the shield. The axe was really good. Best use of that infusion ever. It's just really good. Yuasha, too meta, it looks really disappointing. Aqua Sprite, absolutely beautiful, really remarkable. Curse Scourge, probably one of the best. Oh, good. Oh, that dagger. That's a good dagger. Again, very, very unique character. Harlequin, again, so beautiful, man. Love you. Love you, dude. Don Adria, I think everyone expected this. Don Adria is, of course, one of the finalists because he just looks too good. Don Adria, get back into the ring. And Alice... Alice, that backpack and those auras is the only thing that made me not make you win. Because otherwise you look so adorable. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Now let's take a final look and find actually out who wins this stuff. Get back in here, all of you stand in a circle, be part of this, get in here, you guys, the winners. The good boys. Dark Prince, Adria, Plub, Alexander, and Bloody Vale. You guys need to be in the ring, everyone get out. You're not worthy of these gods, these fashion gods. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. sorry. Bloody Vale, get in here. Get in here, Bloody Veil. We need a screenshot of these beautiful people. I probably gotta say that Alexander wins first place because Alexander has the best looking set for a Daredevil ever. Like, he looks like so many different things at the same time without breaking the lore. His colors is, are perfect. He is very low friendly. He is very threatening. Fix the character. He has no title that destroys it. He has no. Uh, actually, does he have? I'm gonna see if I can find. Uh, is he using a mini? Can I can I destroy his points? Ah, never mind. He doesn't have a bad mini. Like this guy is prepared. He is prepared for this. Alexander, your pr your your first place. It's insane. I love you, dude. Uh, 120 gold for Alexander. Second. Bloody Veil has the best... A little side story before I tell you why Bloody Veil is number two. I've always been trying to get a female necromancer and never been able to do it. This is what I wanted to do, but wasn't clever enough to do it. And that's why this guy wins. He's just too good at making a really good looking um, scourge, basically. It's so beautiful, it's so simple, it's so good, but... Everyone runs the meta instead of this, and that gotta, that gotta get rewarded. 55 gold for him. Very nice. Dark Prince. Dark Prince, again, a Scourge. Would be way better if he went Reaper, but again, this guy nails the class. He nails the theme. Everything fits perfectly. There's no mistakes with this guy. And technically, him and Bloody Veil could both be second place. I just think Bloody Veil is more unique in her color patterns, whereas Dark Prince is a common theme. We all know a Dark Prince, black and red, yada yada yada. But he just does it too good, and that's why he's winning 30 gold. And Don Adria for being... Don Adria and uh, Blob, by the way, these are getting honorary rewards. They're not getting any... like there's no... For, uh, there's, there is a price, but there's no like space, so you can decide whatever you want, right? But these guys, in no particular order, win the honorary reward. The honorary rewards is going to be um, 200 ectos and the scepter skin. And you can uh, hash it out between yourselves who wants what. But I just feel like you definitely deserve a reward for something. Because you are unique, you're beautiful, and it's amazing. How like The way you look is just whew, too good to not be rewarded. It's beautiful. So, congratulations to all of you. And congratulations to everyone who was part of this. Clap for yourselves. Just look at everyone, look at everyone. Look at all this beauty. Look at all these different styles. Look at everyone's, diff everyone's who contended. All this uniqueness, all this beauty.
Like this is this is top tier. This is top tier. And I gotta say, it's it's amazing. Thank you for everyone who wa who was here. Thank you to everyone who um who participated and donated. Thank you to all the spectators, not you daredevils and thieves who did stealth. We know who you are. We don't like you. <laughs> it's just simple. <laughs> but yeah, everyone else is. Yeah, it was beautiful, man. Thank you to everyone who joined in, who spread the word, who was part of this, donated gold, donated skins, donated their time, most importantly, and was part of a really relaxing event, which I gotta say, you all did amazingly well at, you know? no, So few trolls, no skill spammers, no mounts, beautiful. Absolutely fantastic.